hello everybody welcome to my channel if it's your first time here my name is faith i am a ex cabin crew for qatar airways i was flying with qatar airways for four years and now here i am giving you information on how to become a cabin crew based upon my experience as a former cabin crew in today's video we're going to discuss the cabin crew requirements for Qatar Airways however they're not only for Qatar Airways they also apply to other Middle East Airlines I do have them listed here I did a little research so we're just gonna go through them first on the list is the age requirement you're supposed to be 21 years of age and above that's the minimum requirement the maximum is not specified however i would suggest you apply before you hit your 30s 30s and under is best i came across crew who were recruited at 30 33 this doesn't mean that if you're over 30 you will not get an opportunity second requirement you're supposed to reach 212 centimeters on your tiptoe i I'm a little short I I didn't imagine that I could become a cabin crew because I always considered myself short however I got the job because I reached 212 centimeters I am 500 no 500 I am about five foot three that's around 163 64 centimeters and I was able to reach 212 centimeters the reason why they're really specific with this height requirement is that for instance let's say we have an emergency and some of the emergency equipment are located in the overhead bin so if you're not reaching that height how are you gonna reach the equipment in case of an emergency so this is why it's really really important for them three is your weight you need to be in the right range you do not have to be very skinny hell no it's a misconception you need to be healthy hence your height should be matching with your weight to check if you're in the correct range you can just uh, do a quick google search just uh, key in your height and weight and it will tell you if you're in the correct BMI or not then you can do something about that number four you should know how to swim at least 25 meters yes it's written you have to know how to swim but I didn't know how to swim Shh. you will not tell the recruiter that you don't know how to swim they ask you do you know how to swim yes I can swim and that was me as part of cabin crew training you will have to go through a ditching training ditching in that you will have a scenario where they'll put you in a pool and they will uh, you'll have to wear your life jacket and you'll jump inside the pool from a demo aircraft you'll be required to make a circle with your colleagues while still wearing the life jackets fifth requirement you should have great communication skills and you should be very fluent in English because English is an international language and English is what they use in the company next point you should be willing to relocate to Doha because the hub is in Doha they do operate from Doha Doha is a base so you should be willing to relocate to Doha, to Doha. <laughs> if you're applying for Emirates be willing to relocate to Emirates same for Etihad next you will need to have a positive attitude honestly to survive the job you need a lot of positivity that's what I can tell you you need to have a very outgoing personality in that you need to be friendly you need to be willing to offer help when needed don't be the cool guy at the party be the social one you have to know that tattoos are not allowed in Qatar Airways whether visible or not visible while in uniform if you're willing to apply for cabin crew specifically for Qatar Airways and you do have tattoos I would recommend that you have them removed 
For education, you need to possess a minimum of a high school diploma. But honestly, if you have more than that, you will have an added advantage over the rest. You've got to be in your best health condition and they will check this. They will make you do your medicals before you arrive to Doha and also after you arrive to Doha they will make you undergo very strict medical tests. The medical tests include your lungs, they will check your lungs, they will check your back, there's something called the Cobb's angle, they'll check your the angle of your, your spinal cord. They will test you for HIV and AIDS, syphilis, hepatitis, tuberculosis, they will test your eyesight as well, and all, the, all of that. Number 12, you should have healthy hair because extensions are not allowed, only for African people are they allowed. African ladies with African kinky hair. Okay, okay sis, for my ladies who wear hijabs, I'm sorry, they will not allow you to wear hijabs to work. Also, when you're going for your open day, I would suggest not to go with a hijab because they will want to see your face, they want to see your, your hair. They want to see how you would look without the hijab. So if you go wearing a hijab, it will not give you a higher chance of getting the opportunity. Another thing that you should know, falsies are not allowed. However, but don't tell anybody. I used to put a few lash extensions, very undetectable. If you do that, it's fine. However, don't go wearing, you know, your Huda beauty big lashes mac wispy lashes not allowed number 14 smoking is not allowed Qatar Airways they have a non-smoking policy it doesn't matter if you're outstation you're off you know smoking is not allowed lastly but not least you should not have big scars visible while wearing uniform of course during the recruitment they will check you all over if you have any scars in case you have they will have to check the size and the appearance they shouldn't be you know darker they shouldn't be too dark and all that they will assess the scar and if it's you know a minor scar that can be concealed it's fine however if it's a major scar if you have a big scar that cannot be concealed that's bad news and well those are the requirements I hope you did enjoy the video please let me know in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so why not it's free I will appreciate and also you can check my other videos where I talked about my cabin crew experience and also I did a video on uh, how to do a cabin crew makeup and all that. I will see you in another video in the near future. Bye bye for now.